Pleasure Island Family Theme Park. See the magic. Ride the magic. Feel the magic. Pleasure Island Family Theme Park, Cleethorpes. Come and discover the magic for yourself. Hello guys and welcome to Pleasure Island in North East Lincolnshire. Now we've come here to explore this little theme park which closed back in 2016, late October I believe it was. It's now June 2018 so we've come here to see what's left of the park. Um, just to see how much it's changed really over the years. Um, so let's go and check this place out and see what we can find. So we come across the first ride, which they have actually started dismantling now. It's just a wavy slide. They used to use one of those little mats to go down on this. But they've only just started taking this apart, so I know some guys came here earlier this year and it was still complete. But I guess since the auction they've probably sold it and the owners have probably come here to start taking it away. As you can see the whole part now is pretty much empty. Most of the rides have gone. It's a bit eerie actually, it's kind of like a ghost town. As you can see there's not much left of this at all. Oh, it's a pheasant. <laughs> it's probably not used to people coming in here anymore. Right, let's go check out over here. I believe this is where the sea lines used to be kept. So yeah, you may have heard when the park actually closed back in 2016, somebody flew a drone after shortly after and noticed that both of the sea lions were actually still in their pool. <laughs> I'm call it a pool. Um, the reason for that is because it was the winter time and they didn't want to move the sea lions during that time of year. So they left them there to early summer the following year before they actually moved them. So we are now entering the sea lion exhibition. And as you can see, they have started stripping this apart as well. That water is absolutely disgusting. Well, it must be pretty deep. Obviously before this became Pleasure Island, I think it was a zoo of some sort and I know they used to have dolphins here. I'm not 100% sure if it is the same pool, but it might very well have been. But it really isn't big at all, I mean even to keep two sea lions in there, it's... How big would you say it is Tilly? About the size of a McDonald's maybe, McDonald's restaurant. Um, a bit cruel if you ask me. Right, let's go and check out the rest of this place, see what else is still here. So right next to the sea lines are the dodgems. Watch where you're treading. I like the colour theme they've got going on here. Yeah, 
not much left in here either. In fact, there's nothing left in here at all. Completely stripped. for a bloody fox or something to come out. Bottom my ankle. God, the paint stinks. I think I've been dressed. So now we're approaching one of the themed villages. You can see areas where there used to be rides. The foundations are still there, but unfortunately there's no rides there. This is really eerie walking around here, isn't it? I think once this place used to be filled with thousands of people. Is there a ride here? Yeah, yeah it would be better if the rides were here, in all honesty. when we're walking up here because the front side of the park is actually still being used they've got a restaurant down there which we actually went in earlier but the food didn't look very appetizing so we walked out again <laughs> nice cream pile of fish and chips Obviously, it wasn't a very big theme park. Ah, here, look, you can see the foundations that probably were for the monorail which went around. I imagine they probably um, weighed all the metal in for scrap, the stuff that they didn't sell at the auction. left here at all now. Funny little cartoons up in the So yeah, I'm not sure how far this restaurant is from here. So I need to tread carefully. I think it is literally just through there. See the paper here, so it is really easy just for you there. So I'm not going to be able to go much further than this, unfortunately. I'll take a walk back on the other side. So, yeah, I missed this when we walked past a minute ago. This is actually the mini dodger, Miss Phil. See the younger kids right next to the adult ones, and again. It has been stripped out completely. There's nothing left in here at all now. Another storeroom for the paint, which is no good to anybody now whatsoever. So just walking back up to the front of the park, now you can see the lake just about in the centre there. Fair size mate, I suppose. <laughs> it's a little train track, a little train crossing. They used to have a little train that used to come along here. Little passenger rides in. Looks like something's burnt down there. Not sure what that was. Everywhere you look, there's just empty foundations of where the boards used to sit. All gone. So 
if you're thinking of coming here, my advice to you would be don't bother. There's really not much left here at all now. So one of the only rides that is actually still here is this little train. It's really nothing special to be honest with you. their kids ride. It does appear to be that the track has been, you know, the track's gone as well. It seems like anything of value has been now removed. They've even taken down the black slider, you can see it just over there. That was up a few months ago, I know it was for a fact. So they have really, really moved on with this place now. It's a shame, I wish I came in sooner to be honest, but there we go. Right, let's go and have a look and see if this carousel is still in there. So if there is at least one thing worth coming here to see, that's this carousel. I hope to God it's still in there. I looked on the website and at the auction, it was an estimated value of 180,000 up to 250,000 pounds. I don't actually know if it's sold or not. It does appear that it's still in there. Which it is. And it looks absolutely incredible. I don't know if you can see it through the glass, it's quite dirty. That is really cool. I don't think we've got any chance of getting in there. Looks like it's completely sealed up now. Some people have tried, obviously broken glass on the other side. I've got to be careful though because there's a big main road just there and people can see straight through. Right, I think this could have been one of their workshops where they did maintenance on the rides. Um, there are signs up everywhere saying danger, do not enter, anti vandal paint, alarms, cameras as you can see up there. So um, the place is pretty well protected. I've even seen a sign for guard dogs, but thankfully we haven't ran into any yet. <laughs> it's part of an old car there. Looks like one of the old rides. And then there's another one. This looks like it could have been the junk area, to be honest. Yeah, he's seen better days, isn't it? I think it's very big. But we're going to stick our heads in and see if there's anything in there. That looks pretty empty to be fair. Looks like Father Christmas left his feet here. <laughs> um, yeah, apart from that, it's pretty empty. Not a lot in here. So, guys, we've just finished exploring the abandoned part, the theme park. We decided to come over to the live side of it just to see what's sort of going on here. And um, it's kind of like going back in time a little bit. You've got the, the main bar area, which is just there. They've got like a little live stage and there were some people singing on it. Over there, oh, you've got where you used to buy the tickets from. In here, oh, there's a little arcade. I'll show you what's in there. So this is the arcade, which is still in use. It really is like going back in time. Well, these machines are so dated. To see through there is where we were earlier. Right at the other end. Yeah. You buy the tickets just there. This is how you would get into Pleasure Island. <laughs> Just there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. We're gonna make a move now. We've pretty much seen everything that is 
worth to see here now. So please like and subscribe and we will see you on another adventure soon. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that little video. I don't know if you can hear that band playing in the background, but it's some kind of a fake Green Day concert or something. Sounds quite interesting. But, um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Sounds like we've got a pigeon or a seagull on the roof. <laughs>